Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download Windows updates manually, whereas opposed to going through the Windows update utility that's built into Windows. And I know this process can be a little bit quicker at times, and it definitely serves its use. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick little utility that I find personally helpful from time to time. So I'm going to include a link in the description of the video. This should be completely free software here, and you want to navigate over to the Program Files tab if you're not already directed to it. I will include a link in the description that should hopefully take you directly to this page. And there should be something that says Windows Update Downloader, one of the first downloads on this page. You can see it's been downloaded about 1.3 million times, so it definitely has a pretty large download base currently. So I'm going to select that download right here. So I'm going to select that hyperlink should begin the download process momentarily as well. So that's what you want to do with this file. I'm going to select run and then run. You might get a little user account control window. You want to select yes. It's going to ask what's new in the version. Select next. You can select or change some of these setup settings as well if you choose to do so. You can uninstall this program once we're done with it anyway as well. But I'm going to select next and then install. Once it's done, I'm going to click on close. And you can open up the application if you create a shortcut on your desktop, or you can search for it through the star menu for the Windows Updates Downloader. That's what this utility is called here. And what's really nice about this utility is it gives you a good breakdown of different updates that are available. You can see security updates, and you can expand it by clicking the little plus sign here. You can go through the other options as well. If you just want to select one area, you can just click inside the little check mark in here to begin the download process. So let's just say we want to download the security products and security updates. Actually, I don't want to do all of them. I might just do the first two here just to give you guys an idea. And then if I minimize out of there. And we've selected three updates as of right now. So I'm going to select the download button. And you can see it's moving pretty quick. I have noticed this is faster than just going through Windows Update in the past. And it really just depends on how you're feeling that day, but I know this tool can definitely be kind of cool to have in a toolkit available. So just be patient, and we'll take a few moments to down like any normal update. And you can see that one file was not found, so you might just have to click on OK to skip over it. But for the most part, most of the files should be OK. And there you go, guys. You can see how quick that was. So after you're done installing the updates like you would any normal updates, I would recommend that you open up the containment folder here so you can see it says it's in the documents folder so I'm going to select documents you can see our folder is in here and our updates are listed in here as well so if you ever wanted to go back in and run any of them it's pretty easy to go ahead and install them at this point in time if you wanted to put them on another computer as well so it's definitely very nice easy to use application so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial, and I look forward to catching you all in the next one. Goodbye.